Hey YouTube, welcome back for part three of our Monoprice Maker Ultimate unboxing, mini review, etc. Okay, a um, couple things. Since we were last chatting, I had to, or I should say, I took the liberty of skipping a couple of quick steps. I really didn't have much choice. There's no way for me to get the camera to get a good view of what I'm doing without my back being in the way and blocking the view. So I opted not to, not to film the few little things I did, but I skipped a few things that I wanted to do so that I could film those later. What I did is I leveled the bed, um, I attached the octopi to one of the plexiglass mounting holes. Eventually I'll move that once I get the enclosure sides, but for now it's good enough. I put the feet on, but the feet are pretty bad, they're very hard plastic. Uh, I then went out and got some little rubber feet to go under that and they don't fit the feet that are on it great So it's better than nothing, but I'm going to revisit that and come up with another solution. I Also put on this little retaining clip. I didn't want to have any problems losing my ribbon cable uh, The ball mount filament guide I use that and then I'm actually using the spool holder from the uh, Monoprice Maker Select V2.1. I made it for that printer before I returned it. As I had mentioned earlier, I have one, and you saw pictures of the one that uh, uses bearings, 608 bearings. However, I didn't have the screw and nut I needed to put that one together, and found that they were the same after seeing the one that came out of the packaging. So they basically included the exact same little short one in both printers. So I knew I could use the other one, which is what I'm doing for now. Uh, last thing, I haven't done anything with the cooling fan yet. I've got that mount sitting there. Uh, I did actually find in the box of accessories a nice pair of tweezers. I missed those earlier. Didn't know they were in there. Now, as you can see, LED lighting. I was pretty excited when I fired it up that it did indeed have lights. Makes it much easier to see what's going on. So after I got everything dialed in, uh, physically, uh, I stuck the SD card in my computer, and it came up and asked me if I wanted to format it, implying that it was blank. So I got no software, no configuration files, no starter G-code with the printer. Uh, sent an email to Monoprice this morning when that happened, only to realize a little while ago they're not even open on Saturdays, Sundays, etc. So I'm not going to even hear from them until Tuesday after Christmas at best. It is what it is. Uh, strike one for mono price on this printer. Anyhow, I printed a Marvin. That seemed to be the right thing. I set up Cura 3.1. I did some uh, settings for Cura based on what I found for this printer. I didn't take anyone's profile and import or anything like that. And let's see how our Marvin came out. couple burn marks, some burn marks on the back there. Bridging's not great, but it's passable. I've seen worse, but I've seen better. So yeah, it, it definitely needs some work, but that's not too bad for an out-of-the-box print with a guess on settings. So, and I guess it's using Cura 3.1. Uh, there is, if you can see the skirt, the skirt made a little bit of a mess going down, implying there was some oozing or dripping coming out prior to even beginning to make the part. So there's definitely going to be some tweaks to be made. I'm using the retraction speed and distance settings that were suggested in the manual, although I may try increasing those a bit. Um, this filament is a Monoprice PLA Plus at 205 extruder 55 on the bed so pretty quiet printer uh, made that Marvin in about a half hour all in all I'm pretty happy with it uh, not having the SD cards not the end of the world slightly disappointing though and on a their highest end expensive printer it shouldn't happen but there's just no reason it should ever happen in my opinion uh, the other thing is, after I unboxed everything before I put the few uh, bits and pieces on, I went over every nut and bolt. And with exception of one or two that could have just been a little tighter, nothing was loose. 
So very impressed there. Uh, as opposed to the Tebow Tornado, the Tornado had numerous nuts and bolts. Loose, not falling off, but it, it really needed a once-over pretty, pretty good. And has a defective SD card reader. So I'm still waiting on Tebow to send me a new display with a new SD card reader. Although I love the printer and it prints great, it didn't come without its own blemishes. Uh, the Tebow Tornado, I could not get a print to work for the first four or five attempts out of the box. The mono price, out of the box. I, I got a passable, not great, but a passable Marvin. Uh, pretty encouraging. I know it needs cooling room. I picked up fans. Both different style fans came in today. So now I'm going to hit Thingiverse and decide which, whether I'm going to use this fan cooler or whether I'm going to go with a different style fan cooler altogether that uses a different stronger fan. Maybe duals, uh, blower style, I'm not sure. I picked up a pair of blower styles because I still believe, and from everything I've read, the Tornado will benefit from some enhanced cooling as well. So I intend to change to a fang type or something else on the Tornado with a blower. So I picked up a pair of the 24 volt blowers and a five pack of 24 volt 40 by 10 fans. Two of which are gonna go in this holder right here, which will mount underneath the maker. You can tell, kind of tell by the blue and cool off the motherboard, do a better job of cooling than the single fan that's in there. So that's what the purpose of that is. And that gives me three extras in case I decide to use one up here for a dual fan solution that's not a blower or anything else that comes down the road. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. I will post an update possibly tomorrow. I'm gonna probably melt some plastic all night with this thing and see how things go. Try to get the quality of the Marvins a little better and the prints better. I appreciate you tuning in. Please subscribe so you're notified of the next video. Thanks a lot and Merry Christmas.